Hello everyone. I am Sanjog Rai from Tharpur Senior Secondary School, West Sikkim, and I am 18 years old. And today, through this video, I want to share my views, opinions, or you can say ideas about arresting corruption through zero tolerance policy. So, my friends, first of all, what is zero tolerance policy? Firstly, before proceeding forward, I would like to make you clear about zero tolerance policy. So, actually, it is a policy which imposes strict punishment rules for stated law. Or a stated law and its whole aim its whole aim is to remove unwanted practices like corruption in india so talking about zero tolerance policy yes we got to know that it punishes the corrupted people it punishes it gives punishment to them but my question is how will we distinguish between a corrupted and a non-corrupted non-corrupted people in such a huge country like india how will you distinguish between them and we cannot directly go and catch someone and say, hey, you are corrupted. We cannot directly go and arrest someone and say, you are corrupted. You, you must be punished. We cannot do like this. We cannot do so. So this is one, uh, I think this is one uh, problem with this, uh, with this with this act, with this policy. And and the thing is that our Narendra Modi, Prime Minister, he has a good idea. He wants to make our country corruption-free country. But, um, but one problem is that our country, there are many people in our country under him, like MLAs, uh, MPs, um, state governments. They don't have the same thinking as that of Modi's. Their mindset is not as that of as like that of Modi's. They have their own thinking, and we don't know. We don't know what going, what is going on with their mind. They, their mind, their mind may, may be still be corrupted. Their mind be, their may be, their mind may still be. Uh, corrupt thinking they may still have corrupt thinking so we need to care we need to take care about these things then only our india can be a corruption free country and then only our india can be a developed country in future and then only the uh, the abuse the dreams of our freedom fighters can be achieved then only the dreams of our modi modi ji can be achieved and in my opinion what i think is that whether you like you guys like it or not but what i think is that in my opinion a new technology must be introduced as soon as possible to remove to stop corruption in corruption in india instead of introducing new laws and policies so uh, in india due to corruption many people are uh, lying here and there they are uh, forced to bake in the streets they are forced to uh, sleep in the streets and some people they are sleeping in beds made up of roses some people are running day and night just to uh, earn few money for food for having food three times a day but some people they are uh, they are running every time just to digest their food so this is the problem in india due to corruption this is the problem because of uneven distribution of money in our country india and in order to solve these problems my friends we all need to get together we need to join our hands together because uh knowing the modi alone he cannot do these things he cannot do he cannot stop the corruption alone so what i want to say is that we all need to join our hands together and we need to support our modi ji in making our uh, our country, a corruption-free country as soon as possible. Thank you.